you actually brought us some water. Can you tell us what the city's going to do? Uh, right now, if, uh, if people enter and uh, try to board the bus, uh, we won't be able to transport and move the bus until everybody can uh, wear their mask. Here at the bus station, transfer station, and we are refusing to uh, wear the mask peacefully, no violence, no threats. Um, and we want to stand up for our human rights uh, as a uh, as a public people and just as a rider. Uh, we will do it peacefully. Um, you know, no violence. What's up, What's up Don? Yeah, my friend? Okay. And I'm going to take you over to the other bus where another friend of mine got on. Or he will get on. Um, right now, what? <laughs> no, right now, the buses are probably not going to move. Why? We're on a mask mandate. We're, we're trying to stop the masks. Well, I want to move. Well, when we get on with no masks, the buses will not move until we put a mask on and we will not be putting a mask on. Then you stay here? No, we don't. We that's stay seated on the bus. That ain't the city, that's the state, dude. The gentleman that, that, that's the manager for the bus already said that we can get on there with no mask as long as we don't cause any trouble. Well, I don't care where you can sit on the roof for all I care. No, go we're home. sitting on the inside. Oh my god. We're sitting on the inside. We're protecting your right to be happy. You got to We're going to grab a cab. Then you can hop in the cab and locally, you can't go international or long distance. We don't want to uh, disturb any more than. Are peaceful uh, rejection. Yes, yes, uh, peaceful. So no where's this cab? Uh, let me grab. Last time I called the balance seven was an hour and a half. Yeah, they're quite busy, Tay. But yeah, I'm doing this out just a lot of people because if we don't try and change it, it's never going to go away, sir. My name is Jason, by the way. Where's Mike? Hey, how where's you doing? Where's the bus driver though? Um, I'm not sure. They're they're going to play this game, not moving the buses. to the solution and have people have the choice to wear a mask. Say to everyone. You know, everyone has a different uh, health status. And when you put everyone in the same uh, bag, you're going to cause more people to be sick than what they are. Uh, I also want to read to you guys uh, the United States uh, Code. It is uh, highly to as conspiracy against rights, definition of rights under current law. So this is all right here, and, and when people violate it and try to say, I can't uh, uh, go after the services and access them, deny me of services, then we have a problem. You're, you're going, you're, 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 uh, you're coming against me and the other that have a learning disability. I was born with a learning disability when I was born. And it affects me in a way that's, that, that shouldn't touch me, but it does. And I believe that this peaceful gathering uh, between uh, my friends here, is we're going to make a statement. And that statement is, let's treat everyone the same. If you want to wear a mask, then wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask, then don't push your mask on me. Uh, and also, if you have a doctor's note, that's essential. And wearing a mask in this city. 
buses it should take that in consideration and say let this guy ride because it's a human right that's all it is it's human right to to ride the bus and be around because we pay for it people pay for it and um just to make sure i'm all caught up on my my history here uh, they did temporarily lift it, right, back in April for like two days? Yes, for a day and a half, two days. Yeah, and they, they haven't tried to uh, remove the restriction at all since? No, they haven't. As the Supreme Court ruled, uh, I think it was Florida or one of the Supreme Courts ruled, that it's all constitutional. So what it means is it was lifted for that time and the government uh, took it in their own hands to restate something that is a policy, it's not a law. So if we're in the mass, in the mass ordinance, it's a ordinance, it's not a law, it's not a city code. It's something that another human being with power forces on another human being that might have a medical condition or might have a doctor's note. And you're going to make that person more sick because you want to follow policy, you want to follow city code. Now, obviously, as you stated, this is at the state level. Obviously, getting your voice heard at the state level is a little bit of a struggle. How do you plan to combat that to make a change? Well, just just uh, keep on speaking about the things. All right, well, I think that covers it. Unless there's anything else you want to say? Well, uh, one last thing. Let's fight for truth and let's fight for human rights. Without violence, without uh, putting anyone's hands on anyone, but let your voice be risen and stand up and fight for your rights in a peaceful way, no violence. Thank you. We will interview you. And you actually brought us some water. Can you tell us what the city is going to do? Um, right now, if, uh, if people enter and uh, try to board the bus, uh, we won't be able to transport and move the bus until so everybody can uh, wear their mask. Actually, you can chew, so I can tell that you're laboring to breathe right now for your mask because it's sucking in and out on your face. Why don't you just remove your mask and talk to me? It's a nice, beautiful day. Um, isn't it nice to take a nice, fresh breath of air when you take the mask off? I actually don't have any issues with these masks. No, so you love your mask? Is that something that I don't you, have any you issues like with. it? No. I don't. So you do know, know it's issue. it's ruled unconstitutional. The uh, right governor's order it's for a, ma a mandate, don't you know? I have not mandate. seen anything that changes her order. It's illegal. It, actually, it was ruled unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. And then and that's when this that's when Hopewell decided she was going to illegally mandate. Was it a that. federal judge in Florida that actually changed yes. that policy? Yeah, hey, it wasn't the Supreme Court. It's a federal judge. Okay. Okay. All right, so but and, still, it was still a ruling. Right, and then we, the uh, governor had right. orders that we have to follow. We get funding from the state, too, so. So it's can't all put about that money, so. If you, if, it's not all about money, it's all about the service. Okay, then people with masks, they're having a hard time breathing because we have a general There is here. a possibility that they can get a medical exemption. Right. So most people actually have to walk here to the bus, and by the time they get here, they're pretty out of breath. Would you give, give that to them sometimes on a hot day like this? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Day, that, that's out of breath. truly why I brought the water. So yeah, you're right. We brought some water, keep us cool. But you're requiring people to put a mask on when it actually makes you sicker because you're rebreathing your carbon dioxide. And do you know that you have hairs in your nose to catch anything? That sneezing actually is in your body's way of expelling anything that gets in you. But when you put a uh, face diaper, you're not able to expel the CO2 or any other toxins that you breathe in and out. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons young children get uh, sicker and get it more often is because they don't have those fears. And you're, you're right, pollen and different things that go with your nose, absolutely. So if you had a choice whether to wear a mask or not wear one, if it was your call, what would you say? My personal choice is I would not want to wear one. You know what, and I like hearing that. I appreciate you being honest about that. Thank you for your time. Yep, you're welcome.